All right, so we are here at Pure Muscle, day two for me here. I came in, uh, what, Sunday? Trained yesterday, so today we're gonna do a little bit of a push session. Um, so we are here in the back office where we will be taste testing some new of my pre-workouts. Um, I have a stim free one right here. This is the uh, peach flavor. So this is the first time I'm trying it. It's live. This is live, this isn't fake, this is real. So you're all gonna know what it tastes, you know, what I think. <laughs> That's yeah. fantastic. Yeah, to me it was like, it was That's fantastic. like peach juice. This is, yeah. Okay, like so, it's fantastic. Peach is fantastic. And this pre-workout, which is my pre-workout, the mutant pre-workout, it is like, the pre-workout of pre-workouts as far as pump goes. So, I'm excited for you guys to try this once it gets released, which will be soon. We're just playing with some design concepts right now, but let us know what you guys think. I think we know what we like, but uh, yeah, really excited for this. So there's gonna be a stim-free and a stimulant, like Nick said. Nick, any comments? Yeah, that's actually my favorite. I think this is going to be really cool. Um, we're going to do like little stuff to it, but that's going to be like the general idea of what I like. The black one. Um, yeah, the black with the color at the top like that to simulate like the flavor and stuff. So I'm really excited. This is definitely a cool project for you know all of us and for me because this is you know the first time I'll have like my own thing. Um, so I'm really excited. It's going to be good. I think you guys are going to love it. I love it. Product is going to be the strongest pre workout on the market. Like back when we uh, launched HD Muscle in 2020, we were the first to have like over 23 grams of active ingredients. And now we've gone one step further. And this product is gonna have over 30 grams of active ingredients. So we're really excited to be uh, you know, releasing this product very soon. I'm very slow. Don't mind me. I don't think anyone's slower than that. Yes, sir. Nick comes out of the bathroom. He's like, "Where's the Watson pull down?" He beelines it for it, jumps on it. I'm like, "Okay." I'm like, "Darn, you gotta, you gotta hustle up." Now I'm ready to train. How's that one, Lotus? Do you want me to be honest? Yeah. Be straight up honest. No, like it. This is awful. <laughs> Wait, that's so funny. Oh, it's yeah. no good. Yeah. Antoine, this is no good. Antoine loved that one. Really? Really? I don't, I'm not a fan. Okay. That's interesting. So it's like, <laughs> the thing is, uh, that is like lotus passion fruit. Fuck, fuck lotus. I just want is passion. It too, is yeah. it too flowery? Like too uh, no, like it's so actually pretty, candy? Pretty good, but I, I don't even mean it's a weird flavor. Very seedy. I think that's a flavor. You're either going to love it or hate it. Yeah. It's funny. Like it, there's no in the middle. It was hiding the EAs really well, but it is like it's, it's a. I, I like that. And I that's could, the one that Dom I likes could, the best. Too, and that would be like good, good cold too. Yeah. Like it's cold, but yeah. I mean, it's a, it's an acquired taste. taste. It's like when we did that like mojito one that one time. Remember uh, that? People loved it or hated it. That yeah, that was one was a different one. That one actually is really good. Yeah. I think a lot of people will like that. Yeah. It's a, like Nick, just for you, just don't like it. That's all. It's one of those flavors. They like it. I don't like it. Yeah. It's okay. That's why we do these. Yeah, peach is really good. Uh, yeah? Yes, yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I think I need to put a little more in it to be a little bit sweeter, but it's okay. like it's really light and nice. Mellow. As long as you don't get too much amino acid paste afterwards, yeah. it's refreshing. Like, see. And you can see it would be sweeter if you put more in. I probably should put enough in. Is this banana? I don't know what anise is. is. <laughs> Mariah, what's um, an anise? Some French word. No, no, I think it's supposed to be. I it's like this. Yeah, it's like light. It's this is refreshing. Pineapple, guys. Ananas is pineapple. Oh, okay, nice. Oh, sorry, you like that one? Refreshing? This is refreshing. Yeah. Good. See, the lotus, not refreshing. <laughs> Peach, refreshing. <laughs> well, it didn't help that you had warm water in the lotus. Uh, this is true. This is hilarious. But it's nice to it's a good taste. Dude, what the fuck was in that pre, bro? <laughs> 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 oh, I can't. Like, I'm ready. Are you sure that was stim free? We sampled like eight of them, and we sampled them at late at night, and we were like wired. Yeah, yeah, we were. Pineapple. See, refreshing. 
It's yeah. nice, hey? It's light. It's refreshing. Yeah. It's yeah. a pineapple guy. This is something you could like drink during your workout or like any time of the day. Cardio. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cardio. Yeah. It's, it's fucking pineapple juice. Like it's good. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So first exercise we're going to do, Dorian, is always slow. But we're going to start with the pec deck. Flies. I like to start with flies for a chest. This creates better activation for my chest overall, especially when I get to the heavier movements. Um, so we'll do a couple warm-up sets here, probably one failure set, and then move on. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Built from the hands of a god, I am a monolith. Born in the heart of the fire that rose out of it. Walk through the valley of giants with no fear. So if you guys notice, like, all these sets for Nick, he sort of, like, you know, just like that set there, he was just touching the weight. He did three, four, three to four reps. He's basically just priming his body to get to that work set. And then once we're there and we're ready, he'll go all out for one or two sets. So it's it's pretty smart to like grab a weight. Like what Nick does, you got that from Jared. Jared, right? Jared. Jared. Yeah, so Jared recommended that he grab his working weight. Does three, four reps. That way it gets your nervous system familiarized. It's ready to go. And now his next set. He's gonna go all out. Try to throw rocks at the sun, I'm still here. Diamonds under the pressure, I'm still shining, huh? Storming in by force, I want violence, yeah. Please give me a challenge, I can't find it. I'm unstoppable, I'm a legend, I'm my kind of, yeah. It's ironic, you wanted it, now you got it. I paid dues, and now they just pay homage. Throw me in, in the jungle with no guidance. Surrounded on all sides, I'm finding a way out of here. So yeah, that's the one working set. I normally when I do flies, you know, like he said, I'll do one working set, sometimes two, but if I feel like I get enough out of that one, which I felt like that was pretty much all I could get out of that, I'll just move on to a nice exercise at that point. Explain to too how like, you know, you get 20 reps of that. Yeah, so it was, it was decent weight, but you always want to make the weight harder, right? So for me, I always squeeze, hold it for a good second or two at the contraction. Very slow negative, as you guys can see. I, I'm always like that. And then I'll even pause for a second in the stretch position. And I also feel when I do that slight pause, coming up for the rep, I get more out of my chest than anything. Sometimes if people go like this, they incorporate the buys and shit. Well, I do that slight pause and then force that rep. It's just all right there in the chest. So yeah, I could have got more reps if I went faster, but I, I slowed it down and my chest is fried because I made the wet, that weight harder. And it's not light by any means, but I'm just really strong. So next exercise now we're gonna do the flat leverage press. Pretty much what I'm gonna do is what I did over there on the, um, the fly. You know, I'm gonna work up to a good set of anywhere from 10 to 12, maybe a little higher, a little less. I, honestly, for me, I don't like to go any lower than less than 10 reps. That's just me. Um, so, but it happens. But we're gonna find a weight where I can really get a good 10, 12, couple on a, get, get a couple spotted, and then we'll go, go from there. Get serious, it's no fear in this. I got a feeling you don't know who you're dealing with. Yeah, it's the genesis, omnipotent, I'm infinite. I'm Orion, I'm defiant, yeah, I'm limitless. It's no resemblance, what I've been putting in. Over time, hold the line, yeah, I'm going in. Try to bring me down, but I've been ready for a while. It starts right now. You 
you can't hold me down. third exercise, something I, I don't ever do. It's a conversion fly press, as Dorian explained it. It's incline, the way it's set up, but it's like a fly and a press all in one. So I never use this, so I'm excited to use it. Five hard ones and then pump out the rest. Two. Okay, maybe one more hard one. Pump it. Pump it now. Push it. Come on. Good. Two. Three. Four. Five more. Five more. Come on. Four. Three. Two. One. Good. Next chest movement is this decline machine. So normally what I would do if I was training alone, I'd probably do like dips, which is technically a decline to a degree. So this we're gonna do a machine decline here. Um, now that I remember, I did use this once. This was at another gym. It's a very good machine, very smooth. Warm up, couple warm up sets, one all out banger.
All right, so now we're done chest. So now we're gonna do um, some shoulders. This is more of the chest day, so we're, mainly we just did chest. So we're gonna do a little shoulder work. So we're gonna do the side lateral Landis machine. Now what you'll notice is we're going more up than not. Now, I know people are gonna say, oh, that's you know, some traps, some this, some that. Yes, more than likely it's a little bit. But your overall delt is getting a better work than just kind of stopping here. And now that I've been doing it that way more, I felt like my side delts and overall delt, without even pressing so much, has improved drastically just from doing this. Um, and that's another, again, compliment to Jared Feathers for that, so. Second delt movement, we're now gonna do another side that I will raise. But now we're gonna do dumbbell, single arm. Um, I'm still gonna do it in the same fashion that I did it with the machine. But now I'm single, single arm, I'm just gonna go like this, go as high up as I can, and just kind of pay more attention to one side of the delt than the other, obviously. All right, so now for triceps, we're gonna do a cable push down. Um, they're doing it more straight down like this. I'm crossing them. Um, I just feel like for me, I can track better crossing them a little more. Um, this is more of like an isolating movement, get the elbows warmed up. So not gonna go crazy too heavy, just focus more on contraction with these. So I like to stick around 12, 15 rep range with these. Great to have Nick down here at Pure Muscle Fitness training the community. You know, it's a pretty good vibe here. There's lots of professional bodybuilders. So it's really fun to have Nick here and you know be able to train for the next couple weeks. We're gonna try and bring you guys as much content as possible. Tomorrow we got a big leg day. So stay tuned.